Hey guys, it's Shadia Munro here from Slink and today I'm going to go through the process of creating an alpha tutorial for um, your Slink Redux body and I will be using uh, GIMP which stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's an open source graphic software and it's available for free online. Anyone can download it, anyone can use it. It's similar to Photoshop but not exactly the same. I've never used it before, I usually use Photoshop, so I thought what I might do while I'm recording this video is while I'm exploring how to create an alpha layer in GIMP, I would record the process uh, and you can explore it with me. So the first thing we do after we've unpacked and worn our Redux body um, and you have an item of clothing that doesn't come with an alpha layer like this dress. This dress is from One Bad Pixel which is my sister uh, store with uh, Sachi Rixon from Adam and Eve, we create cute sexy things and uh, I do most of the modeling and she does most of the texturing. So uh, this dress here, a lot of One Bad Pixel items do come with alpha layers because they were made for standard sizes, pre-mesh bodies, but uh, I don't believe this one does so I'm going to make an alpha layer for it today. Now this dress has this little sort of keyhole neckline and um, it, it's not the easiest thing to create an alpha for using the old alpha cuts system but an alpha layer will handle this with absolute ease. So in your Redux body folder I've provided all of the tools that you need to create alpha layers. It's not something that everybody will do but the process is fairly simple so um, it, it's fun to you know try new things and I urge anyone who's interested to just jump in and give it a try and see how it goes. So the first thing we want to look for is the, the search term UV template because everything that I've created for this, for this system uses that phrase. So you'll find a uh, Slink female UV template for alpha creation and if you just right click and wear that it's set up as a, uh, as a tattoo layer which appears on the body. So you can see this tattoo layer represents all of the old alpha zones from the classic body alpha HUD. So this should give you an idea of what needs to be deleted or have an alpha channel created for to hide the body underneath this dress. The next thing we do is um, find the Slink Physique upper UV template and lower UV template files. Double click, uh, select them both and select save as. And then we will drop it into the folder, physique. Do I have many folders? No alpha cuts. Alpha layer tutorial, tutorial GIMP. You can put them wherever you want to and save them as .tga format. I've actually already got them in there as .tga, so I won't save them again. And they're both saved. So the next thing we'll do is go over to the GIMP website, which is www.gimp.org. Um, if you're Google searching for it, then I recommend you have Safe Search on, otherwise you might get some fairly uh, interesting results. And we'll just download that from this website. Um, you can download GIMP 2.10.14 directly. Save file. And it's not a small program, so it might uh, take a few minutes to download. There we go. And we're just going to open that file directly up. And we say yes to install. Once it's finished, hit the finish button and that's it, it's installed. Apparently it doesn't launch so we just go into the start menu and type in GIMP. Gee, I hope if I spelled it right. Okay, GIMP 21014, that's the one. And here we are. Brand new, fresh spanking GIMP program. So the first thing I want to do is go over to my folder where I saved the two files. That one. Alpha layer 
tutorial again and I want to just click and drag them straight into that window there. So here they are at the top and you can switch between them like this. It's like little tabs at the top. Photoshop has tabs. In GIMP you can actually see the image which I think is cooler. So let's have a look back here in Second Life and we'll do the skirt section first because that's fairly simple. It's just a straight up and down alpha to sort of mid thigh and you can see if you look here at the hemline of the skirt it's sort of just above this red section this red section and uh, sort of the middle of the pink and purple sections here in fact it's just below that line on the pink and purple sections. so that should be fairly easy to line up so we'll pop back over to GIMP grab the lower body template and identify those same sections on this template so you want the entire upper um, pelvis and down to the mid thigh. So this is the pink and purple section that I was just looking at. So we'll grab the lasso tool. And let's see. I guess the easy way to do it would be to simply grab the eraser. If I can find it. There's a brush. There's a brush. There's an eraser. Cool, so what we'll do is we'll simply erase. Um, and we'll erase all the way over here. And it really doesn't matter. Um, let me just try that again. Try and make it reasonably neat. But make sure all of the bits you don't want to see are fully erased. So we'll erase all of this. And making an alpha layer is uh, an alpha, te alpha texture is very much not a precise art. So let's make this brush a little bit bigger because it's way too small for my liking. There we go. And I'll just color all of this in with the eraser. And there you have it, a very very basic alpha texture. But in order to work with the Slink uh, Physique Redux HUD. We have these lovely alpha mask cutoff sliders here and in order for them to work well the texture needs to be blurred before you export it. So let's go see if we can find a blur here. Filter blur, let's say Gaussian blur. Um, uh, and let's just say okay just leave it all at the total and utter defaults. Uh, the next thing you want to do is um, save as and we want to look for the file format uh, let's just cancel file export as select file type by extension and let's export it as a png image now, i don't know if this will work because pngs by default have an alpha channel that recognizes any transparent pixel as part of that alpha. So let's see if this will actually work. Uh, interlacing, so background color, save resolution. Um, automatic. Export. And it's done. Hopefully it's gone to the same folder. Yep, it has, and it looks like it has preserved that looks like it has preserved that transparency. So if we upload that file now to Second Life and we say upload image and back into my physique folder and alpha layer tutorial and you can see there in the image preview that it has preserved that alpha layer sorry that alpha channel it's important to get the terminology right otherwise we all get really confused and we hit upload and there it is so I've got this folder here I'm going to right click it and select new clothes and select new alpha mask I'm going to call it uh, 1bp dress Alpha, and then I'm going to right click and wear it. 
I'm not wearing any other alpha layers, so it won't replace anything that I need. And then I'm going to right click it and select edit. And then I'm simply going to drag the physique lower UV template that I just created into the lower alpha box there. That's all you need to do. Once you hit save, you'll see the part of the body that you changed is refreshing. And then when you go in and you have a look, you can see that that section is now missing. And because we blurred the edges, you can go up to the legs alpha cutoff mask slider and you can change them ever so slightly because it wasn't a large blur area. But if you have a look, when I change the slider, the edge moves. The larger the blur, the more extreme the slider change. Okay, so now we need to do the top section of the alpha because there's no point in just having the bottom section. Um, we also need the top section in order to alpha, alpha the body for this dress. So if we have a look at where the template sits on the body compared to the top um, portion of the dress, you can see there is this little blue sort of teal uh, section here. It goes into this area and then there's a little bit of pink sticking out from the top here. It drops down into this sort of peachy area and the same on the other side and nothing between there and the waist. If we have a look at the back very, very quickly, you can see there's a little bit of red poking out here. It's mostly on the green section. So we'll jump back over to GIMP and go to the upper template and have a look at the um, actual layout. So if we were to follow the lines and grab our erase brush again, size down a little bit so we get a bit more of a precise area and we'll just go from here just underneath where you actually want it to be and then we drop down here into the peachy section here and then we repeat the same thing on the other side let's be careful try to try and make it reasonably symmetrical but again it doesn't matter hugely if it's not absolutely perfect. Mesh clothing now fits mesh bodies a lot better than it used to fit Second Life bodies, so we don't have to have an absolutely precise alpha in order to hide the bits that may clip. In, in actual uh, reality, we really just need to alpha out the joints, like the armpits and the groin and the knees and the elbows, because they are the most likely areas to clip when your body moves with animations. And over here, we'll just take a little bit of this green, try and follow the shape of the dress at the back there. So it has a sort of a nice downward curve. And then we'll just take out the rest of that lower section. And it's all gone. You don't need to worry about anything outside the lines. And now we do the thing again where we uh, can just select the filters menu at the top here and repeat the Gaussian blur. And that just blurs the whole thing for us. So if we say um, file export as, and then we want to select file by type and then go down to uh, PNG again. It will name itself Slink Physique Upper UV Template this time. You can also change this if you want it to be specifically named, like I could call this um, 1DP Corset Dress Upper um, Alpha Texture. Naming things properly is important. And we hit export and we hit export because it, all we need are the default settings. And now we go back into Second Life and we hit Upload Image. And you can see that uh, Alpha has been preserved there. And then we can go back into our Alpha that we were editing before. Press Edit. And then select the Upper Alpha texture and throw it straight over into the Upper Alpha box. And then we hit Save. And because we changed the, alpha, the Upper Bake Channel, refreshes the, the upper and now I will take this off you 
can see that the body is now outfitted away just underneath where the dress is. Let me just put that dress back on. So now once you have your alpha created, you can go back into the uh, right click your right click your right click your avatar, select edit my outfit, and then in the edit outfit stack you'll find everything that you're wearing and you can uncheck the UV template and once you leave that uh, appearance editor you will see the body has now been saved you can just see a little bit of the um, alpha poking out there but we can adjust this slightly and see if it goes away and if not I can just pop back over into uh, GIMP and that section is just in this corner so the the image itself doesn't matter. What matters is the, the pixels. So we'll just pop back in over here and I'll bump the hardness down so we have a nice smooth brush there. And perhaps we won't do it with black. Let's do it with white so I can see it a bit better. And we can just fill in that little tiny corner. It doesn't matter if you lose the actual template itself because what matters is the opaque and transparent pixels on the image. So if we now hit um, file export as and we can just save over that previous one. Yes replace please export and there we go and upload it again. See that's the one I just changed with that little bit of extra allowance there for the corners. Now we right click on our alpha, hit edit, drag that new texture across and hit save and exit the alpha, alpha editor. Once it refreshes then you'll see you can now see that section and you can't see any alpha mask. Oh but if we look down here we can see alpha mask so we pop back over to GIMP just paint in a little bit further down here and export, save over, export. Upload image. It's gone. So that is the uh, very quick and dirty Shadeen figuring out how to use GIMP tutorial. Um, I have a fair amount of experience in Photoshop but like I said I've never used GIMP before and I found that it was fairly discoverable um, if you know what you're looking for I think. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful and uh, you can actually start uh, making your own alpha layers if you need to. Alpha layers are one of the most accessible things to make in Second Life and uh, my hope is to um, enable you if you wish to create your own. That's about it from me. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions message me in World and I'm happy to help. Cheers! <laughs>